materials are becoming more and more important to every aspect of our lives. Glycomaterials, in the broadest sense, are materials that are made either in part or entirely of carbohydrates. Natural glycomaterials are found everywhere. They are inside of the cells of our bodies, they are in every plant on the planet, and depending on their molecular structure, glycomaterials can be biodegradable, biocompatible, or even bioactive. The strategic development of new glycomaterials poses several challenges, and that's why the National Science Foundation funded Glycomap, a materials innovation platform uh, that focuses on the development of new glycomaterials. You can't develop new glycomaterials with existing methodologies, not in a rational way. You have to innovate both in the way you synthesize them, the way you characterize them, and the way you apply theory to predict them. And this is the sort of thing that requires the scientific ecosystem and the interplay between disciplines that's offered within a MIP. The GlycoMIP facility is unique because it brings together three different fields of science that were typically separate, the synthesis, the characterization, and the modeling. With these three-dimensional structures and the structure-function relationships associated with each of these materials, we can think about developing new materials that are more sustainable than the petroleum-based products that we use now. We have a few different pieces of a technology available for synthesis. Uh, the two instruments behind me here are called glyconeers. They are automated glycan synthesizers. We also have an ultra-high frequency sonicator that is used to selectively oxidize glycans, as well as a flow chemistry method, uh, in addition to our benchtop capabilities. What I hope comes from all of our work towards the synthesis of glycomaterials is to make materials for glycobiological applications, discrete glycans for modeling and glycan standards. The characterization of glycopolymers uh, can be divided into a number of technologies. Because they are complex, so they require an array of technologies to be able to characterize them fully. It can span from mass spectrometry to NMR to molecular modeling to uh, biophysical properties of the glycopolymers. So at Glycomip, we've put together an array of techniques to be able to give the user a full set of data that is needed for complete characterization of glycopolymers. When we think of the fact that carbohydrates have multiple shapes, one of the challenges predicting those shapes and this is where modeling comes in. We have accurate mathematical models that describe the energy of a molecule. And so we can predict the 3D shape of a molecule, and we can even predict what shapes it likes to take at room temperature in water. But what we're trying to do now is advance it so that we can predict what would happen if we made a chemical change. So you use modeling to develop hypotheses, and then you take that into the lab and you synthesize it to test the modeling or to test the ability of the modeling to predict the properties. For example, you might ask, why is this polymer brittle or rigid, or why is it uh, not, or why is it soluble? We use modeling to make those predictions ahead of the synthetic methods because the synthesis is quite challenging, and we want to use modeling to focus our efforts most efficiently. It is critical to do research in glycopolymers because there is a gap of knowledge. Carbohydrates have been analyzed for a long time, but glycopolymers are a unique set of carbohydrates. And there is not enough data on how to analyze those, how to do, for example, uh, binding studies on these, and how to do molecular modeling on these. Our techniques enable us to move the feel forward, so we have to create this data, we have to create these new methodologies and then apply them to glycopolymers. Glycomip is growing and preparing the next generation of glycomaterial researchers by having these opportunities for learning or educating the next generation in glycomaterials research through our summer school, uh, through our outreach events, our scientists on screen events, and also through our undergraduate mentoring events where we can have researchers, undergraduates who are interested in the field, come in over the summer and learn about glycomaterials. Collectively, the Glycomip in-house research team and the community of facility users will discover and develop new glycomaterials that will enable more sustainable technologies and also advances in the medical arena. We envision that Glycomip will enable scientists to design glycomaterial structures with desired properties 
And then our user facilities will enable these scientists to synthesize these materials and obtain these materials in a much faster time frame than if they would uh, do that without our support.